The Sleepover by Catherine Tumi Fosnot. Sarah was excited. Saturday was finally here, and tonight was her sleepover party. She had invited seven friends to spend the night, and they were going to have fun playing on her new bunk beds. But the best part was that Aunt Kate was going to babysit. Aunt Kate was fun. She liked it when Sarah played tricks on her, and Sarah liked to play tricks. I brought some scary stories to read," her best friend Yolanda exclaimed with a big smile, as they ran to Sarah's room and jumped on the bunk bed. Four kids sat on the bottom bunk, and two climbed up on the top bunk. Sarah and Yolanda climbed up on the top too. Aunt Kate. Smile at the excited friends. Would you like some popcorn? She asked. Mmm, yum! Sarah and her seven friends all yell in unison. Yes, please. We want popcorn. We want popcorn. Four cups for the bottom bunk and four cups for the top bunk. They will keep me busy tonight," Aunt Kate thought to herself and laughed as she went to the kitchen. So now, Aunt Kate is preparing the popcorn for all the children. Let's see if she has enough for all of them. Remember how many children were. At the sleepover, I think I remember. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. She made the first group for the top bunk, and she made the next group for the. Bottom bunk, so we can make a number sentence like this: four plus four, and this equals eight. And I remember there were eight children. Let's see. While the popcorn was popping. Aunt Kate laid out two rows of cups, four in each row on a tray, four for the bottom bunk, four for the top bunk. She thought, when the popcorn finished popping, she filled the cups. Then up the steps she went. I hear her coming, Sarah exclaimed with a big smile, and they all began to count: one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight steps. They yell in unison. The popcorn is coming. Aunt Kate chuckled as they count each step, but when she got to the top, she almost dropped the tray. This is what she saw. I've lost a kid. Aunt Kate gasped in surprise. Let's see," 
she was expecting to see these many children on top. So, she was expecting to see four on top. What happened? One, two, three. Where did that child go? The kids laugh and laugh. No, we are all here. We just trick you. I am down here now, Sarah said. She loved playing with Aunt Kate. Oh, whoosh, Aunt Kate said. That's a relief. And she passed out the big cups of popcorn. One, two, three, four, five to the bottom. And then one, two, three to the top. The kids all began to whisper and laugh about their new trick. May we please have some juice? They asked with glee. So let's see what happened. Aunt Kate saw now. One, two, three children on top. One, two, three, four, five on the bottom. And we can make a number sentence. Three children on the top plus five children on the bottom makes yes, eight. Yes, all the children are here. Sarah went down. That's all. Down the stairs, Aunt Kate went. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight steps. Phew, I'm tired already, she thought with amusement. Sarah does like to play tricks. She has me all confused. Now, how many cups of juice do I need? Let's see, she thought. There were five kids on the bottom and three kids on the top. How many is that? She lay out the cups, five and three on a tray. She poured the juice in the cups and back up the steps she went. Here she comes, Sarah report. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight steps, all the kids yell. The juice is coming. So this is what Aunt Kate was expecting to see. Three children on top and five children on the bottom. Let's see. When she got to Sarah's room, Aunt Kate almost dropped the tray. This is what she saw. I've gained a kid! Aunt Kate exclaimed in disbelief. We trick you, we trick you. The kids howl in laughter, very pleased with themselves. Mm, let's see what happened. Well, she was expecting to see three on top, so now she only sees one, two. And she was expecting to see five at the bottom. Now let's see how many are at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. There is one more. Hmm. How could that be? Aunt Kate thought and thought. What were they doing? She passed out the juice to the kids on the bottom, counting ever so carefully. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next, she did the top. One, two. It was just enough. Five and three was just the right amount for six kids on the bottom and two kids on the top. Aunt Kate was puzzled. How is this happening? Shaking her head, she muttered, mutter, I'll go get some napkins. So let's see, we can make a number sentence. Let's take a look at the top. One, two, let's take a look at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Let's make our new number sentence. 2 plus 6 equals... Let's see how many. Yes! 8. We still have 8 children. Good job! Down the stairs, Aunt Kate went again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight steps. How many napkins did she need? What would help her remember how many kids there were? Let's see, she thought. There were six kids on the bottom and two kids on the top. Equals eight. And before that, it was... Five on the bottom and three on the top. You got it. Equals eight. And before that, it was four on the bottom and four on the top. It still equals eight. But I don't think there are any other ways they can trick me. So this time I'll bring up six napkins for the kids on the bottom and two napkins for the kids on the top and then I can rest. Is Aunt Kate right? Does she have the right number of napkins? How many ways can the kids trick her? Now it's your, your turn to generate more number sentences. Good luck!